Okay, today we're making a how to prepperize your steam engine for use and also to show the locomotive, to show the engine running. Um, so here it goes. First of all, you want to oil everything up. Uh, get my whistle out here. Need that too. Um, we will oil that up in a minute. Or the whistle up. We'll oil everything up first. Uh, else up first, but um, first, uh, before you oil, you want to put your smokestack on the back here. This is a Jensen Type 75 steam engine. The only toy steam engine I've found that has a has an eccentric to reverse with. Um, but you're gonna want to put steam oil on anything that's in contact with steam that's moving. So you want to put a little bit of steam oil right in here. Uh, if I can get some. <laughs> Um, you should put them on there and spin it around just to prevent any steam from leaking out your valve there. Also make it turn smoothly. You're also going to want to put steam on your piston rod, which is the piece that spins the rod that goes in and out of your cylinder, which is this part right here. And you want to get it coated with steam oil. Not too much, but use common sense to put some on there. Just get it get a good amount on there and then spin it in and then out so you got it on there. Um, don't over oil because then that can damage it. Um, just do that. You want to get some on the uh, raw on the which you call it thing. The other slide rod that let the other slide rod right here. Um, then you want to lubricate the inside of your piston. You just stick your. If you have one of these bottles and you don't have a syringe, you take this cap off like this. Put it. Put the hole up to there. Squirt a few drops in. But if you do have a syringe, I recommend using it and you are just going to slide the syringe in all the way squirt in just a little bit slide it out uh, maybe a little bit more there. okay and if your lever is up in this position you just turn it backwards or if you don't have an eccentric then you just um, spin it backwards and it sucks the oil into there and lubricates the wall and so you have that done with my have that done. I'll be using that in a minute once I put the whistle on. Um, now, I use 30 weight motor oil instead of wasting my um, steam oil for um, lubricating any metal on metal parts that aren't in contact with steam. But you may have enough money to buy steam, that much steam oil. But I use 30 weight motor oil and just get it well, good, get it coated the steam oil, but not too much as I said before, this stuff will sling everywhere once it gets going. So just get it nice and coated on there so everything's in working order and works very smoothly. And if you don't have a governor, don't worry about oiling it. You don't really have to oil the governor, but I do so it doesn't heat up too much. Uh, as you can hear, my steam engine is falling apart there, and you can see. So I think I'm going to finish put a little more oil back here.
Okay, we got that oiled up. Now, to put the water in. Okay, um, I've already poured the water in. Basically, all you do is put the funnel in and you uh, pour the water in. I recommend heating it up first because it saves fuel and time. So you heat it up a little bit first and then pour it in your boiler because it doesn't take as long to get steam up. And then you put your whistle on or safety valve wherever you fill it through. And you're going to have to put steam oil on this too, on the whistle. Put a just pop this out a little bit. Put some steam oil in there. One around there. Move it back and forth. Pour a little bit more in. Just so you don't have steam leaking out. And that should be good. Now, for those of you who don't have a place that sells Sterno close by your house, um, I recommend, or not Sterno, but don't have Esbit um, in any store around your house. I recommend Sterno if you have a dry fuel burning engine. Um, it's cheap. You can get it at Walmart in the camping section. Um, and you scoop it out with a spoon and put it into your tray. It might get some nasty looking stuff in it, but it works just fine. And you get in a bigger qu quantity for less. And it's just purple goo, gelled alcohol. Yes, scrape it into there. I'm using this little tiny shovel. Um, scrape it into there. I'm using this little tiny shovel because I don't want to dirty up a spoon. Plus, I had this and it's just sitting around. So, you just do that. And I'm not sure where you would get these little shovels, so please don't ask. Um, I, this is an antique I got from my dad, but it works fine. It's sturdy. Just a little piece of steel. So, got that, and then pop it in your tray. You don't want to light it before you get it in there, because it will burn the top of your firebox. You just use your lighter. I got one of these burn matic flexible lighters. I think it's really nice. But you just stick, you can either just light it from right here, or you can what I, do what I do, and stick it up through one of the air holes, and light it, and it lights right up. It's got a blue flame, and it's really hot, so it will warm it up. And now we wait for steam pressure to build up.